Hello everybody, welcome back to Bear Stotska, the quiet hamlet here in Kingdoms and Castles. My name is Bear. Got a pause here, we'll go ahead and start it back up. Yeah, we'll go on the fast speed as well, why not? Let things keep going here. So, you guys have given me a few tips for the uh, early game here, I appreciate it. Haven't spoiled too much either for me, I also appreciate that, although apparently there's not too much depth to this game at the moment. But I'm I'm pretty okay with that, actually. You know, I'm not, I'm not much of a Crusader Kings type player here. I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that simplicity and I'm thinking, you know, that's up my alley. I like that. The granary I've apparently made a small mistake with. I suppose that's supposed to be a little bit closer to the farmland. Maybe putting it somewhere like right here or something would have been a little bit better. And it's now coming to my attention that we want to try to use the infertile land to put our houses on. So if we were to try to keep doing that like along here, for example, that would make a lot of sense. However, we do want to try to make use of this space as well, so here's what I'm thinking. Let's go ahead and throw down a couple more roads. Not a... no, not that. Come on now, let's think. Throw a road right here, and then I'm thinking I'll just go ahead and make an intersecting path down this way. We'll go through this barren world. Try to build out some uh, fun stuff. Maybe even consider doing like a town center down here or something like that. Oh, look at that! Hey, Bear Stotska is now a small village! Oh, we're all celebrating! That was a bunch of fun! Starting to get the hang of this thing. Okay, cool. Good stuff. Well then. Yeah, anyway. I was thinking about looking at this. You know, this is a great area for the folks to gather together and celebrate their prosperity. So let's let's think about maybe building a town center down here and taking advantage of this other space as well for other things. We'll see how we go, or uh, how it goes. Also, uh, finding out. Apparently, you don't really need roads. Like, I've, I've been so... It's been ingrained into my brain to to try to build roads out in every single game like this because usually people aren't able to actually do anything without the roads, you know? Like, they're just kind of screwed. Like, well, I mean, we can't walk on grass. What do you expect us to do? We're just, we're just going to walk on roads. There's no way we can walk on this stuff. But no, there's, you can see them right here. They're smart enough. They figured it out. So, because of that, I feel pretty confident doing this right here, in fact. That's a farm that I've wanted to put down for a little while, but... Uh, haven't, uh, haven't thought it would work out okay, but now that I know that those guys can reach pa Oh, good lord, what? Ah, Jesus Christ, the fire! Fire! Put it out! Put it out! There's a well! Oh, God! Okay. Okay, uh, fires can start. Yep. They got the well right here, thank God! Yeah, literally every single person in town. Okay, fire has claimed the orchard. Well, son of a bitch. I guess we don't have an orchard anymore, but that's why you have wells. Damn. Okay, now I know. I also know we don't have a lot of space for new people, so we need to build another home pretty soon here, too, and I can easily afford to do that. Let's go ahead and get a, uh, a second cottage seems smart, and we'll just do that right adjacent to the one right here. Let's just do this. Looks good to me. And then we've only got just fertile, regularly fertile land here. But I feel okay doing another farm, unless I want to try to change the, uh, the output. But it doesn't look like there's a lot of different options. Ooh, we could build a baker. Takes wheat and charcoal and turns it into breads. Stores the bread until it is eaten. I'm also looking at this thinking, you know, I could just build another granary. There's not really anything wrong with having two, right? And then if we put it right there... Yeah, that's not a terrible idea, I don't think. Let's do that. Might have to, like, demolish this, rebuild. Put something else in there. We'll keep it there for now, but I might have to have a change of plans in, in the uh, not-too-distant future. Our city is full. We need more homes. Yep, that is clearly the priority. So, since this isn't very fertile, I wonder if maybe I want to try just building another cottage right there. I've got the resources for it, I believe. Ooh, I'm close to it. I think we might want to build another forester, actually, too. We were talking about doing that. In fact, that was kind of the plan going down here, wasn't it? To build the forester and make sure we've got a... Uh, quite a bit more supply, so let's go ahead and uh, look into doing that. Let's get this thing back out. Yeah, it's the industry. There we go. The uh, range on him is again down to this tile right here, so if I build it right there, that's going to be the ideal spot. So we got to chop this down. We're going to build another couple of roads down to this spot, and just so I can remember exactly where it is, we'll just build it right to where I want to put the forester, and that'll be good to go. Okay, got the roads down here so we can start thinking about the town center. City is full still. We got this one cottage here, and I'm thinking again about building the second one right there, and I've nearly got the resources for it. 25 wood again. Hmm. I like... Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. It's... 
I'm still wondering whether or not I want to, you know, cram everything together in the same little area right here, but that is sort of what the what this situation presents me with, right? Good that you just want to say good day. Okay, cool. Work has halted. We need more stockpiles. We need stockpiles for the quarry. Oh, yeah, clearly they do. Look at that. They don't have any space at all. So, we can make that happen. Small stockpile is not a problem. We can just go ahead and probably throw that right there. Makes sense. That way they don't have to walk too far to just put things down right there. In fact, I bet the forestry could use that as well. Let's go ahead and put down the second forester right here as I wanted to. I think that is indeed the spot. Let me just double check though. Yes. Fantastic. Okay, so we're getting a lot of wood now. This should be pretty damn good. I like it. I like it. Things are going good. Need to build more homes. Probably need another cottage. This one is uh, 2 out of 12. 12 out of 12 here in this cottage already. Did just use the last of our wood, unfortunately. Maybe I gotta go ahead and have some folks chop down trees, because we do have a few idols right now as well, and I'm probably... probably gonna end up using these spaces for more farms here. I, in fact... I'm looking at this, and I'm thinking to myself, in the future I see farm, 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 There's like farms all across these six by two spaces right here. I'm pretty sure that's how that's going to end up going down. Let's just anticipate that for now. Having them along the water may be a little risky, but maybe that'll give us more defense against fires as well. Who knows? All right. <clears throat> Pardon me. We got nearly enough logs again. I think I am. I'm pretty committed at this point to just filling out this little space right here with the cottage. I did, uh, you know, yeah, I did just mention the farm's going to go there, though. So maybe I could look into going down this way. This is more fertile land, too, unfortunately. So it really isn't that smart for me to uh, try to build more homes on it. But right here, right here does make sense. And I, I don't think that's a terrible idea. I kind of like it, in fact. I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. And then we'll have... We'll have the road that keeps going out to the to the right beyond this. Sadly, it's going to run into this little barrier here, so we're going to have to make some interesting headway there. I'm going to go ahead and put a road down right now as well, just to remind myself that that's the plan at the moment. Uh, and if I do it right there, I guess that would work. And then we could like go up like this, go around the other side of this thing, and then maybe even build another quarry right here, which we were going to do eventually, I think, but may uh, end up being closer to necessary and oh god yeah look at that i don't know why i didn't do that before that makes so much sense and they're all they all seem so happy with it too look look at our master look at he treated us so nicely we can just stand here in awe and admire him he's so smart he knows what to do only two people have found a satisfactory place still building this one out four have found a satisfactory home here in the cottage we got even more idols my goodness all right Resources are beginning to be gathered. We've even got some charcoal for ourselves, but sadly that is almost immediately being used in all the homes. I bet we need more, don't we? I bet we need more, although they all seem to have their charcoal needs met at the moment. They want neighbors. They want access to a well as well. I don't know if... Hmm. I didn't realize that. Yeah, we want to make sure all the homes are being built next to each other. Otherwise, they lose out on that happiness bonus with their neighbors. Hmm. I could go ahead and just build out more homes like this. I was I was wondering if I wanted to, like, just build a giant T intersect Or not a T intersection. This is already a T intersection. G a giant cross and go up and down this way. But maybe we don't have to. Uh, we'll build probably more homes along here again, even though this is fertile land. And uh, Town Square and all kinds of other nonsense will go down this way. Let's start chopping down trees down here as well, because I know with an almost certainty that... We will indeed be uh, utilizing this space for, for more stuff. And we got, I got a few people idling that need a job as well. Uh, how's the food looking, I wonder? Let's have a look at these guys. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Good day to you as well, military ma'am. Well, this makes me feel happy and satisfied. Okay. He was talking about... Oh, hold on. I can build an iron mine. I can build all this stuff already. Takes charcoal and iron, turns them into tools and armaments. Cool. I want a blacksmith. That sounds badass. Let's do it. Let's just put it right here. We got our... We totally got, like, our industrial section and our residential section. This is going just like a SimCity build. Let's see. How, uh... How's our space looking now? Ate too much recently. I'm not... I'm not looking at you fully. 12 out of 12. 0 out of 12 in the new cottage. And, of course, they need a well, too. 
I am gonna put one down. I don't want to take any chances with this, having seen just how uh, just how useful they are. We can see the coverage area of that other well already, so I think maybe doing something like this. Although I want this actually to cover the entirety, if I can, of the uh, of the southern peninsula here. So let's build this road all the way down to here. Well, hold on. Let me think about this. Let me pause for a second as well, just so I can make sure I'm doing the right thing here. The town square, I want this to go, like, right here. Or, like, right here. Like, dead center of this area. Oh, but wait a minute. Oh, this has an area of effect. So, hold on. What does this actually do? The town square, it attracts new peasants and increases happiness. So, I imagine, then, that effect only takes place for the, uh... Yeah, the proximity for the houses within it. So, how about right there instead? Right behind this cottage. That probably wouldn't be a terrible place. That would cover the majority of our southern peninsula as well, as I mentioned, and that way I wouldn't have to just build out a bunch of silly nonsense down there. It's not exactly the best location in the world, unfortunately. Sort of seems silly. If I put it down a little further, I can even get to the uh, bottom of this peninsula, too, if I wanted to do that. Yeah, you know what? Let's do this. We'll put another cottage right here. And let's put the town square right here, and that way we get the uh, coverage for all those houses, too. Okay, cool. Cool beans. That fertile land is, is so tempting to just put farms down. Same with this. I wish I could change it somehow, too, but I suppose that is... That's kind of one of the big gamey aspects of this, isn't it? Is that the fertile land is what you need to build around. Hmm. Ah, they want the treasure room. I thought maybe they did. Okay, so let's look at that uh, option real quick, too. Treasure room, I believe, is in the castle, isn't it? Yes, the treasure room requires 50 stone. My goodness. We do want money soon, though, I'm sure. So we'll have to look at that. More charcoal. How's the blacksmith doing? We got five out of five workers currently producing tools and armaments. Uh, he has no charcoal, though. Too far away or none available, so we need to make more... Oh, wait, no, this isn't charcoal. This is iron? This is iron. So we need to actually start making iron, which we could do fairly easily, in fact. If I just build the road right here, let's do it. We're gonna go bam, bam. And then we are going to put down an iron mine. Right there. Love it. Now we can start making shit. Nice. Some have no access to a church or library. Okay, we can fix that. That actually seems like a good, uh, good idea for a new project over on this side, too. Let's have a look. Church or a library? It's going to be in town, I imagine. Yeah, the church... Oh, those are... Uh, they're going to cost gold, huh? Okay. We gain knowledge over time. They also accept donations at the church. Interesting. Tavern here, too. Ooh, a tavern. Tavern would be great right there, wouldn't it? Yes. That would be lovely. That fits so perfectly with the town square. I love that. I gotta do that. I can't, I can't not do this. I just want to make damn sure that's where the door is. I can't tell. Is it on the back? No, that's the back. Okay, so here we go. We'll do the tavern right there. I like that a lot. Oh, man. People are going to be real happy here now. This cottage is full as well. Holy shit. They're just filling everything up. Okay, then. Let's... Let's put the second cottage right there, I guess, shall I? I'm so hesitant still to take, a, take over that, uh... Slightly fertile land, but... We need more space, man. We got people just flocking into this place. Which I'm pretty happy about. Iron Mine is, uh, nearing... Com oh, no, it's actually done already. Holy shit. Okay, well done, everybody. That is taken care of. I feel like another charcoal maker right there just makes sense. However, again, with the, uh, potential crossroads here, we could go up this way, take advantage of the, uh, space up further north. Probably not a terrible idea. All right, man. The stockpile's actually kind of filling up a little bit, too. I might want to build a second one there just to be sure that we're going to be okay. Let's chop down... Oh, that tree's been chopped down, hasn't it? Yeah, they're going to chop it down right now. Uh, let's put down another stockpile. Maybe I should wait, actually, until I can get a big one. Let's do that. I'm going to chop down these two. I imagine I'll uh, need, like, four spaces for a large stockpile. We'll wait for this, and I'll get 30 logs to be able to do that. And I got people chopping down trees as well, so we're good to go. Oh, it's feeling better now, man. Making some progress. I like this. Building some fun buildings. We got the town square up. We can throw a festival. Hold festivals to increase happiness and attract new peasants. Okay. 
We don't really need to do that right now, unfortunately. Not that we really have the option either. I, I guess I do need to uh, start taxing the peasants before I can start thinking about th stuff like that. Maybe I don't need to worry about a stockpile right now, actually. It's, uh, yeah, it's not too bad. I really love the visual representation of items in this game. The way that they have them is like just blocks of different things. It's so intuitive because often in games like this, you'll have these stockpiles and they'll start to, you know, like slowly fill up with items like Banish, for example, I believe did a similar thing. But it doesn't like show you exact units, you know? It seems like, for the most part, this game shows only deals with, like, exact units of things that you can see and that you can identify being utilized. I really appreciate that. Still out of space, we got this second cottage going up and that is waiting on those logs. Uh, that explains why we don't have the logs for the stockpile, too, but we'll get that soon, I imagine. Hmm. Without food, they could soon- oh god, we need more food. Yeah, way more food. Yeah, though- oh my god, there's a fire! Well! Is in range, almost. Yeah, they're, they're taking care of it. They're taking care of it. Oh god. Okay, good. Good lord. They're gonna they're gonna fix that. Luckily, that's like an isolated home. Did they save it? I think they saved it. Oh my god. They they didn't burn down. What a world. It's a miracle. Holy shit. Okay. I like it. You know what? We're gonna build those two right there. I'm gonna build these. Right there as well. That's lots more farms. In very strange spaces. Spread out across our farmland right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness. I'm just getting I'm getting worked up here, man. I am I am a little flustered. We gotta figure this out. This is quickly creating some issues. I've been focused too much on our industrial section. But look at that beautiful woodlands they got over here now. This is all looking splendid. A little bit of iron here, the blacksmith is going, the charcoal is going, we're good. Get some farms up. We got this cottage ready to go, we got room for 12 more peasants, and I'm probably just gonna go ahead and have to build one more, in fact. What about a manor? Oh, what about a manor? What if we could do that? We need gold for that, again. Treasure room! Oh, we can do it now. Let's do it now. Let's go right there. Sure. Ooh, that was fun! Change the castle up a little bit. Food for the winter, we must keep our peasants happy. I am fixing it, I promise. They want a church or library as well. We might even need more food or more farms than the ones I just put down, but wow, that was just a massive boon. But they are just yeah, like like before, they're just sort of putting it in and then immediately taking it back out to bring the bring to their homes, so. I might have to build a couple more, in fact. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just play it safe. More very fertile farms. Right there. Still not gonna worry about the orchard. Feel like that may only be better suited for like a four very fertile tile area. Okay. Looking good. Now. With this going down, I think I do want to wait until I can maybe build a manor down here. I also kind of want to like... What if I did this? If I build the road like bam, bam, bam. I guess I could build it all the way down, and then maybe just like build a road across right here. And then I can near fully take advantage of this space. I think I'll do that. Let's just go ahead and lay the outline for that right now, in fact. Let's just go all the way down to the bottom. Maybe not to the last tile, maybe we can like build a row of things down here or something. We'll see what, what the options are. Oh, look at this! We got a little island down here too! I wonder if we can build on that. We can connect down here. Oh my god, that'd be so fun! That would be so awesome if we could connect all this shit right here, and I'm totally gonna try to do that. That sounds like a blast. Let's do this. See about a bridge? Build that right over here. Oh yeah, man, look at that. I love it! I love it! We're totally doing this. We're using a little island. That's gonna be our island of joy, and the town square is on fire! God damn it! How does it keep happening? And everyone needs food. Everyone needs food. Everyone's hungry, but we got we got farms going down. Oh God! Oh God! It's a big problem, isn't it? I need I need even more farms, and they're flooded. No. Are you okay? Oh God! Oh, it's getting much worse. I did not, I did not see this problem coming, and I probably should have. This is bad. I need more, don't I? 
Ooh, what if I... Okay, so this... This right here could be a, an opportunity for an orchard, I guess. Blocked or not... It's not fertile enough! It straight up won't go on the barren soil. Oh, god damn it. Alright. Well then. We're gonna have to build something else right here. And, uh... Did I take care of the food problem? I still haven't. My goodness. Yeah, this has gotta... Even more. Even more. I thought... I thought we were addressing the issues, but clearly we're not. So we're gonna chop that down. You know, I think it might end up being actually... Just like this little corner of the... So it's a nook of farms over here, man. And... I'm okay with that. We're gonna build a little something-something right here. Maybe a well, actually. A second well might not be a terrible idea. There is... Coverage here already, of course, but... Oh, man, they're all so hungry. Shit. Oh, we got the, uh, treasure room down. Good. Okay. Food for the winter. I know, I know, I know. I'm trying desperately. I hope they don't all just start starving to death, dude. Jeez. Oh. And there's a fire again! No! The well! Our farms! This is desperate! Oh, God. Look at all that food, though. Negative two we were at for a second there. Everybody, please. Please, right there. Thank you. Appreciate it. Are we all gonna get fixed up here? Look at all this bread they need. God damn, it's going to be a big problem there. Starving in that house, but maybe that fixed it a little bit. Okay, starting to feel a little better. Starting to feel like there's maybe some hope in this world yet. And let's just, you know, let's just round it out. Why not plop down the very fertile tile right there? These two tiles right behind this house as well are starting to feel tempting. What could I put right there, by the way? I'm wondering what sort of options I've got available. A oh, baker! Yeah! That's a great idea! I'll throw a baker in the middle of the farmland, sure! No one is available to work the new building? Oh my god, and we still need a new house. Holy shit. Hmm. You know what? I'm gonna go ahead and not build a road there. Or no, I should. I should. It actually makes perfect sense, because that way we could use these tiles. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Okay, so th these guys sadly will not have neighbors. Which does, you know, take away a little bit of their happiness, unfortunately. They also don't have access to a well. I definitely need to build one here soon. Uh, in fact, let's just do it now. I don't want to be waiting on that one. So, town, well, right. Oh, that doesn't work. Uh, there, I guess? What about there? Let's do that. Okay, now... Let's see, we need to... Oh, God. So much happening right now. Temporary close of the buildings without food, they could die. They still need the food! We can't afford to build new homes, we still need to feed people. It's still not enough. We needed an insane amount more than we had. I was operating off like three farms for a little while. Holy shit, dude. We got so much storage space, too. I need to build a ton more. Hmm. Market is interesting as well. I don't need a granary. I just need to continually build farms and orchards. So, uh, I guess we just chop down these now. Those are just going to be in the way at this point. And, uh, yeah, just go for it. Why not? The whole Monty here. Okay, they are... in need of pleasantries, food, space to live. Basically, everything they could consider a need is... in need. <laughs> At the moment, we are... Oh, we are looking for some help. So, like I said, I do... Oh, but look at this, man. They're all fertile tiles. But, like, going up here is the idea. I want to build the road up like this. Maybe even have to build, like, one or two road tiles out here just to be able to take advantage of all these very fertile tiles right there. Pretty sure that's what we're gonna end up having to do. We gotta have these guys chopped down. I don't have anybody... Yeah, God damn it! this is such a predicament. We got everybody committed to basically everything we got going on right now. I could close a forester, actually. That's not a bad idea at all. Let's close down a forester. Because we don't need a lot more supplies right now. Let's have these guys instead focus on uh, the immediate tasks at hand. And we can start to fix 
some of our bigger issues. I'm going to go ahead and again throw more farms back like this. Uh, once those are cleared out, we'll do the same. We're still just eating every little bit of food we make. Maybe we'll find a surplus this year. But I kind of doubt it. We need to build another cottage too, so let's just start working on that as well. Even though I'm still working on feeding the folks we've got, I know that I'm going to need to build another cottage eventually, so let's just get that going now. I was talking about a manor, but A, that's not doing anything yet for some reason. I don't- oh, the tax rate I gotta change. Oh, we ta oh, it's one gold per person, I imagine. Okay, so let's just do the lowest tax rate right now. Uh, temporary close to the building, building new homes, starving food, they could die, I get it! I get it, I'm fixing it, damn it! Trying to! I'm gonna close another forestry. We'll reopen these pretty soon, but I want these guys all to focus on the, uh, the immediate objectives. Probably the same with the quarry at the moment, actually. Let's just... Oh, can't store any more stone. Well then, yeah, let's just close that up, because obviously that's not helping us out at all. Uh, I suppose we should just build another stockpile then, too. I was considering doing that a while ago. Now we should have quite a few idols, actually. Now we should have quite a few people available to get this shit done. Hopefully that is uh, indeed what will be happening here. The, uh... Well, you know what? We could close this down as well. Everything that's... Let's just close every non-essential operation at the moment. And, uh, get everybody working on the shit we need to do right now. We need to chop down these trees. We need to get these farms going. We need to get these buildings constructed. And the more people we have working on that shit right now, the better. Seven... Yeah, we got a lot of people visiting with no space to put, uh... Or no beds to house them at the moment. Oh, I love that color change as well, man. All these little details. Changing the color of the building to let you know that you're not using it anymore. I like that a lot. We got this second well up. We're chopping these trees down. We're going to have more space. We're going to build this road up. More farms, baby. And that is... that. What is this land? This is barren as well. Shit. Okay, so we're going to have to build something else right there. What if we did... What if we built a road through there up like this to that spot, and maybe even like up to here, and that way we could take these tiles along with these ones up here. I wouldn't hate that. Maybe a little bit too much... A, a, few, a few too many roads, I suppose, is a, a possibility with that... with that outlook, but... It might be necessary, we'll see. A couple more farms down there, I think... I think... this may address our food issue for like a moment. But it's gonna be, I think, a pretty pervasive problem. Also, I don't know why I had people commit to building this bridge already. That was kind of a foolish errand. But, uh, it's done now, so that's good at least. Yay. What are you saying here, buddy? You need a uh, church or a library. We're starting to actually get some gold now with the tax rate going up. We're starting to see some increases in our funds. Uh, everybody's more or less done with everything now. Okay, so we can go ahead and start up production. On our shit again. Let's get this large stockpile going as well. Just so we can start to, uh... Use the quarry once more. I'll open up the... I probably don't have to open up the blacksmith yet. Let's reopen the iron mine. Reopen the charcoal maker. Maybe even get another one of those going. And I definitely need to work on a manor if I can get it going soon. There it is! 25 peasants demands charcoal yields more tax revenue. So we're gonna have to... Definitely build another charcoal maker for this one, I think. This is a crazy house. This is nuts. I'll build it right there. There's our manor. First manor for 25 peasants. That's gonna be great. Need a lot more food for them, of course. We got a baker here, too, now, finally. That's great. Love seeing all those pop up at once. Very satisfying. No bread can be baked without a full staff. Should be finding more people here soon. None saw fit to stay in our quaint little village, did they? Well, shit. I suppose we'll have to find ways to increase their merriment next time here in Kingdoms and Castles. Thank you all very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying. This has been very relaxing and enjoyable for me so far, and I'm hoping that you're having a similar experience. You're in year 30. We've got to make life more pleasant for the peasants. We've got to increase our farm output. We've got to increase our available homesteads. All kinds of fun stuff to do here in the future. Thanks so much for watching this episode. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. I appreciate that a lot. I'll see you next time.